Jay Sarasadlo reporting from the Walter P. Chrysler Legacy Gala. Stay tuned for remarks from tonight's show host Jay Leno, NASCAR champion Richard Petty, and Mr. Virgil Exner Jr., the son of former Chrysler design chief Virgil Exner. It's a weird out here. Hi guys. Hi, how are you doing? I just like to, I'm Frank Fountain, and I, uh, I'm chairman of the Chrysler, the Walter P. Chrysler Museum Foundation, board of directors, and I'd like to welcome all of you here this afternoon. Uh, as you all know, we have found uh, four people who uh, embody the spirit of, and tenacity of Walter P. Chrysler himself, and uh, we are going to present tonight an award to each of these four gentlemen uh, in the Walter P. Chrysler uh, name. Uh, we have with us at the moment uh, Mr. Jay Leno. Thank you. Actually, it's, it's three in one. The, the other three have really done something. This is like Little League where every kid gets a trophy. Uh, I'm the kid that gets the trophy here. I, I'm a huge fan, but the others have actually made huge contributions, so it's an honor to be uh, in that company. And Jay, he acquires what the other three have produced. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they do the work. He, I he, he's the collector. Yeah. And uh, we also have with us uh, tonight uh, Mr. Virgil Exner Jr. And uh, you will hear from him tonight. But his father was the uh, uh, the Chrysler Chief Design uh, uh, Vice President in the 1950s and is responsible for the forward look, uh, among many other things. Which, uh, That's right, his dad made men get rid of the hat. He was the previous, previous president of Chrysler. Oh, was it Kellner? What was his name? Keller. Uh, Keller. 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 He wouldn't let Chrysler go any car. He couldn't wear his hat in while he was driving. <laughs> and your dad came along and said, lose the hat. And he came up and lowered the roof line. So thank oh. you very much for getting hats off. Man. Yeah, thank you. Uh, my dad came along and told KG that uh, no, I won't have any of that uh, hi-hat uh, activity going on in the back seat of uh, right. my car, so uh, you're just going to have to go along with some decent design for a change, and, and uh, KT uh, uh, very much uh, agreed and uh, let my father loose on the whole, uh, the whole thing. He was able to bring Chrysler back greatly. In the, in the Lincoln would have loved KT. That's <laughs> Carl Well, gentlemen, while we uh, are joining us uh, shortly will be Richard Petty, who came down earlier. Many of you have had a chance to see him. But in the meantime, why don't you fire away? We have about 15 minutes now, a little less than that, to ask these gentlemen any questions that you think. Uh, Jay, you've got a quick look at the, the small amount of equipment here. Well, I've been here before. I think this is one of the great uh, museums. You know, I, I always say, uh, if you're a car person, Detroit is sort of Bethlehem. And you come here, and this is, I get annoyed when I, I talk to young kids who think uh, cars actually started in Japan or Korea or somewhere else. But this is really the birthplace. And uh, I think this museum, I, I think, is a, is a wonderful contribution. It's, it's nice to see something new in Detroit that honors Detroit. I mean, for so many years, we just kind of let it all roll, you know. And I think you come here, and, and people are amazed. That they, you know, Chrysler was always the engineering company. From, that's what Walter Chrysler was. He was an engineer. And the torque light transmission and so much of the other stuff, and the Chrysler airflow, it, it really started here. And then everybody else kind of, oh, that's pretty good. Let's take that idea to the point where people forgot where a lot of it originated. So it's nice to see it come, uh, come home to Detroit, and people can come here. And, and see where it all started. You said you drove the Tomahawk. Uh, how, what was that experience like, and is it interesting seeing it here? Uh, I drove it about 50 feet. You really can't turn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Walter would have necessarily said, hey, wait a minute, you got to be able to go around corners. But uh, it, was an experience. it was an experience. <laughs> I was able to uh, drive uh, uh, my father's show cars quite a bit. And uh, because I was of an age that uh, chimed in with his own design, experience even a few of the ideas that are on some of his great uh, Chrysler uh, show cars uh, actually uh, kind of played around with myself and picked them up himself uh, and uh, when he had some of these show cars home such as the, uh, the uh, DeSoto Adventure 1 
Uh, he had that on for two years. That was a while. That was really something. He lived in Birmingham, and actually, I did manage to drive the race up and down. <laughs> uh, at that time, and, uh, I went home and told my dad about it. Yeah, I cleaned him up. He says, that's great, kid. Yeah, I'll keep going. So, uh, we were terrific racing fans uh, all of our lives. And, uh, and um, actually, uh, Father and I both drove race cars at one time and crew for some uh, very famous drivers. And uh, racing was the, uh, what we believed in was the, uh, was the uh, important thing to impart into a passenger car. Racing improves the breed. That's one of the, the breeds that we uh, have a lot of fun. Mr. Exeter, could you move a little closer to the microphone? And your, your dad was essentially invented the concept car. Seeing what concept cars went on to become and where they are now, is, is that a, a fair legacy for your dad? Uh, somewhat. There were concept cars before the, the uh, Second World War, uh, such as the Chrysler Thunderbolt and uh, the uh, GM, uh, y, so-called Y job of memory of uh, early girls. Uh, but, um, it became more prevalent right after the war uh, to uh, test uh, people's uh, reactions to new designs that were really tremendously different than anything that they had seen prior to the war. And uh, uh, GM and Ford and Studebaker and, uh, and Chrysler were scrambling to, uh, to as fast as they could right after World War uh, II to get new products out and knew that the public would be receptive to much more modern design, having seen all of the uh, World War II aircraft and, uh, and fighting material uh, that was uh, really high tech at the time. And so uh, they all took advantage of, uh, of getting out concept cars, and their father was brought into Chrysler primarily uh, to keep keep Chrysler's ball rolling uh, while they are, are some catching up to do as far as design is concerned uh, because of the uh, lack of, uh, of real modern design effort in their 40s, 40, 40, 40, 46 to 49 car lines. So at that time, uh, uh, KT Keller then uh, contacted my father, hired him to be an advanced designer primarily, and uh, then he produced uh, design.